Well, a lot of you have been asking what's up, how I'm doing. This is the backyard of the place we're renting. There's our car. That's what we drove across country with, and that will become uh, more interesting uh, as I go through this video. <clears throat> I haven't been on much because we haven't gotten our pod yet. That's our neighbor's backyard, they, and there's my wife. We also, uh, they also happen to be our landlords. I'll step out here and take a little shot of the back of the house. There's the dogs. A little backyard. Wave, Rena. Thank you. So I've had a couple people say, oh, you must be joking about the fact that we have not gotten our pod yet. It was supposed to be here a week ago, so we are really living with just the stuff. We bought that uh, step stool. Shoot you a little video of the house. We are literally living with just the stuff that we were able to pack in that car along with our two dogs. <clears throat> little kitchenette area. We're really lacking counters, but uh, we're making do. We are quite literally sleeping on an air mattress. We threw it up in the living room. Uh, we had the foresight. This is our inflatable couch. Uh, I'm not sure if I can turn on my flash. So uh, let me snap on some overhead light here from the very wobbly ceiling fan. <clears throat> this is an inflatable couch that we uh, also becomes a queen size air mattress of uh, questionable quality. We spent our last night in the old house in Vegas there. We got a chair that the previous renters left behind um, that is really wobbly, so I've propped it up against the wall. This air mattress is awesome, and uh, I'll, uh, it's got a silent pump in it so it never goes flat, and uh, it's really been pretty decent for sleeping on. It's about two and a half feet tall. Uh, window AC. We had no AC when we first moved in. Uh, the previous renters took it with them. But yeah, this is pretty much uh, almost all of our stuff here. The crates for the dogs. We're using empty boxes. Like I said, we, we ordered this air mattress sent to this address before we hit the road. Uh, that way we'd have something decent to sleep on. We also ordered some new cookware that we were way past due for some new cookware that we picked up at the local Walmart. You can see I'm using an empty box for my nightstand. The cooler we brought in the car is our coffee table, I guess you could say. So uh, we're living kind of minimal. We bought a new box spring because our old box spring did not fit in the shipping container. We had one suitcase full of clothes, so the locals are beginning to think I only have two sets of clothes. Thank God we have a washer dryer in the basement. Uh, I won't even bother to show you the basement because it's nothing to write home about. <clears throat> By any stretch, it's uh, very damp down there. The only things down there quite literally are the washer dryer. We got bathroom, we got shower, the people who were here before uh, had some disabilities so they got some grab bars and a seat for the shower if you wanted to use it. The old toilet, nothing to show there. Eventually this is going to be the office up here slash studio. As you can see, nothing but empty boxes. Um, so, And I do have a point to all this that I'll get to as I take you out front and show you the small town life and the street. This is what we live on one of the major streets in town which really ain't saying much when you're in a town of roughly 5,000 people. This is our front porch which is nice. We sit out here a lot. It'll be nicer if we get our lawn furniture. Um, 
it does have a couple of saggy spots, but the landlords have told us if we want to make improvements, they'll buy the stuff and compensate us for our time. So we'll see. Um, they were kind enough to, to supply that window AC that we put in and take care of that. So there's the house from the front. The rent is very right. We'll just put it that way. It's very inexpensive. As you can see, that is the courthouse. This is the county seat. Centerville is the county seat of Appanoose County. I'll try and do a zoom here. So obviously, if I wanted to, we could walk down to the square. They bill it as the largest continuous square in the world. They're kind of getting by on a technicality there because they don't have uh, stop signs or stoplights down in the square. But uh, I will be filming later to show you the square itself. We can actually hear the uh, courthouse chiming in the evenings, especially when it's quiet out. So that's about it for now. Um, let me see if I can. So Rena, tell me uh, about the adventure so far here in Iowa. It's been interesting. Living without the pod is not not for everybody, but I guess you have to be of, of... Pioneer stuff is probably the wrong phrase, but I mean, we're making do. We're roughing it indoors. Roughing it indoors, yeah. Well, everybody saw the air mattress. Yeah. It's been, what, almost three weeks on that thing? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, hey, it's lived up to its warranty given my size, so... Um, What's your thoughts on the on the town so far in southern Iowa as a whole, um, especially compared to Vegas? Well, compared to how Vegas was when we left, dead, and how this place is now, dead, its size doesn't matter. <laughs> 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 but it's, uh, I mean, of course, it is Sunday morning, Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Um... It, it's okay. Uh, I don't know if you mentioned that we've been scoping other areas. Yeah, I mentioned that uh, since we're not having much to do, we don't have a TV, anything like that, don't have a formal computer, that uh, it's given us plenty of time to run out and check out other places. Because that's the whole mission is we're looking for some place to buy a house and retire. Um, we're about 10 miles from the Missouri border. Uh, we have found out some really interesting stuff about this town. For instance, it was part of the Underground Railroad back in the day. So uh, yep. that's been interesting. A lot of history down here. But uh, I would say, how many towns have you? do you think we've driven out to? So, yeah, well, ballpark. You know, that we've checked off the list. Seven? Yeah. I know we, we've, through our little bit of travels, we decided to get rid of anything under 6,000, rough, roughly 6,000. 5,000 5, or under is definitely just not going to be enough going on for us. Not um, enough. Yeah, and we're looking to stay in the U.S. Oh, baby rabbit. I don't know if you'll be able to see him. So there's definitely more life around than there is when you're living in the middle of the desert. And like I said, I don't know if you can see him or not. And the green is wonderful. Yeah, it's nice so to much. have so much life around and so much green. Yeah, it's, it's so much nicer than, than Nevada because Nevada was just so brown and so rocks. Yeah. And about every 12 lawns is maybe grass. Yeah, they, they so paid people to pull up their grass and stuff uh, in Nevada in the Vegas Valley few years back so even the few people who did have front lawns and stuff pretty much got rid of them so uh, the desert landscape is definitely more dramatic than uh, the local landscape but taking Sadie a little bit of time to get rid get used to going potty on grass <laughs> yeah one of our dogs one of our dogs had never seen grass so that was a bit of a change for her so anyway uh, yeah the the search for the perfect place continues we're looking to get a USDA loan most likely so we're pretty much capped at about 15,000 or so for the max for population oh, I was gonna say. Um, you know and we've got quite a few houses on the list to drive out and check out maybe I'll make some videos when we do that so with that I'm gonna back out of here say goodbye
Bye. Talk for a second, uh, standing out here in front of the house. That, um, yeah, it's been a little bit tough. Uh, I really got to give it to my wife for not bitching and complaining um, about every little thing. Things aren't my fault. Uh, the boredom of not having our stuff, we each have like one book <laughs> that we brought with. Fortunately, they're good thick books, so they've uh, lasted so long. Uh, she's got her tablet, I've got my laptop, we've got our phones. We do have our internet access, but uh, she's been a really understanding and good sport about it, much to her credit. But, you know, sometimes you got to take a step back to take a step forward. So this has been a, a nice little life lesson. Uh, I'll probably make a video soon talking about the adventure traveling cross country with the dogs during the cerveza bug. Uh, I don't want to use the name of the virus because I don't want my video taken down. So with that, Joseph of Borg, we'll catch you all later from Centerville, Iowa, where there ain't nothing going on.